Yo, Leo, what's going on? Happy St. Patty's, my friends. It's good to see you. Welcome back if you're returning. If not, my name is Mag. Welcome to my channel. This is Achilles. We are ready to do your mid-monthly reading, my friends. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, yeah, I let one person try to pinch me because I'm wearing green. All right. I hate when people pinch on St. Patrick's Day because people aren't wearing green. That's one of the most annoying things anyways. Moving on. Uh, someone has trauma from that. <laughs> I'm, 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 like, I'm not kidding. I feel like you got pinched today because you're not wearing green, Leo. <laughs> you're like, get your hands off me. Um, okay. I'm feeling that energy. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> again, this is going to be a generalized reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um Let's go ahead and get into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning. And thank you for connecting me with the amazing Leo. Glory to the Most High, for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. Spirit, I ask that you use me for two clear, concise messages for the greatest and highest good of Leo, for their ultimate abundance, sustenance, healing, love, and joy. I'm seeing a jar of pickles. Maybe you're eating pickles. Maybe you're in the mood for pickles. Something about pickles. Maybe that's, uh, I'm actually getting a pet named pickles. <laughs> um, random. Um, you know, I actually want to clear. So I'm seeing a sweater with a snag in it. Like, um, it's the material. This is specific. This is a deep channeling. Okay, Leo, so there's something about your materialistic world right now that's really, um, I feel like, being refined, being recreated. If you ever get a snag on a shirt and a piece of thread comes out, you take a scissors, you cut it off, right? It'll probably keep unraveling, but you don't want people to see it. Do you understand that energy? That's really showing up for you the last two weeks of March. But I feel like you're really in control of it. It's like a controlled unraveling. What is that? You're doing some very seriously intricate alchemization, Leo. I feel it. I'm being shown like um, a whiteboard with tons of letters and numbers and like algorithms on it. All right, let's clear it. What's going on, Leo? What is going on with you? I just heard Highway 70. Highway 70. <clears throat> Doesn't that run? North and south, like this is a major highway somewhere. I don't know where that goes. Okay, so Highway 70. Let's let's go ahead and get started. Let's get it for Leo. Very evasive energy this week, Leo. What's going on? Okay, I was just shown what looked like jaguar eyes or, or some type of big cat eyes, but hidden behind leaves, like staring, stalking. Like, Leo, you're looking at something specifically and you're hiding, but, like, you are locked and focused on something here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. The sun in reverse. You are really not pleased with where your finances are right now. Or, like, something happened financially this week that, like, really threw you off that you were not pleased with. Empress. But it actually came out reversed, but then it flipped like it wanted to come up, right? What is this? Eight of swords in the reverse. Three of swords in the reverse. Wow. Holy transformation, Leo. This is beautiful. And if this isn't you, this is someone else that's going through a major, major transformation. Two of Wands. 
this person or you, I feel like, <clears throat> there's two stories here. Leo, you have not been happy with your finances. You've really been looking at this from a, about 5,000 different angles on how to like, to um, increase your finances, to set up some residual incomes, to maybe acquire a new contract, okay? That is flipping. Then we have another energy here. Now, if this is your energy, Leo, you are really getting out of your head and healing over any type of sadness. I feel like there's actually been three separate heartbreaks in different areas of your life all around the same time. Like one was a person, one was maybe coming to terms with something that happened a long time ago, a heartbreak from a long time ago. Maybe it could have been um, a former relationship or a loved one passing on. And then the third one was almost a heartbreak coming to terms with something about yourself that you had been really denying or you had been in denial about. But what Spirit is really wanting me to acknowledge here is you have made really good decisions for yourself. If this is somebody else, they are making really good decisions for themselves and they're in the Empress upright because they have purged and healed whatever this energy is, especially if it was between the two of you or even if it was separately in their own life. Give me more on this, please. Leo. It's going for Leo. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, it's like you've gotten... If this has not occurred yet, this is about to like a, it's like a swooping shift. It's going to, it's, you're going to get, um, understanding over confusion or under any illusions are going to come to the light. And I feel like it's your own mental confusion. I feel like you've been very confused about a few things that on purpose, like spirit wanted you to be confused during this time. So you could maybe fully learn a lesson or something of that magnitude. Yeah. Here we got four of wands. Yeah. This might, this really might be involving somebody else. Here, so this is a very deep connection that you may have someone with Leo. Eight of Cups in the reverse. You're not walking away from them. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Whoa! Leo, if there's... A, I, this is reconciliation all over it right here, okay? Four of Wands, Eight of Cups in the reverse, Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting about four stories off this real quick here. Specifics. I'm hearing the name Holly. Heidi. Hasim. Oh, those are specific. Lot, three H names, random. Um, I'm getting one story. Somebody has walked away from something that was very detrimental to their health. Okay. And because they're doing that, now spirit is bringing in blessings and miracles uh, as well as a partnership. I'm also feeling that if you had tried to walk away from someone, Leo, that is completely shifting. You've changed your mind. This person has changed your mind. Reconciliation is absolutely in the cards. 808 when I, when I say that. The third story I'm getting is um, I feel like there was for a while, and even maybe this is currently going on, I feel like there's been a disconnect with your higher self, Leo. I feel like this is actually past energy. But spirit has been actually working behind the scenes to help you heal and work through this process to reprogram some of your, your mind and your programming as far as um, how you used to view yourself. Your, your vibration has certainly increased. I see it across the board here. Um, and I feel like spirit is finally trying to help you connect the dots appropriately because I feel like you were not connecting them appropriately. You were kind of going in circles here. Tell me more. All right. Then we're going to switch decks here, Leo. Tell me more. What's going on for Leo? Thank you. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you're letting go. Uh, it was like there was this guard up of like self-protection. Um, maybe you're really stingy with your money or like giving to people. That is that is concluding. You are really going to be a loving, giving person uh, as we move into Aries season. And it's because this energy is shifting highly in your favor uh, as well as this other person's. It's like it's, it's coinciding. Anything else? Thank you. What is this?
there may be a soul contract taking place um, or a domino effect that's going to happen with a fellow fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. we got King of Wands, the Devil, and the Page of Pentacles. I don't feel the Devil is, is a toxic energy. I feel like it's a soul contract. I feel like this message is the, is the domino effect to taking action and moving towards this person, Leo. This could absolutely be your energy as well as this other person's. There's a lot of fire here, a lot of um, attachment. But with what I'm seeing here, it doesn't feel toxic. It doesn't feel like obsessive. It's like a, um, it's a soul attachment. It's a soul contract. You and this person have very serious spiritual connection uh, or a very serious spiritual connection. And there is something written in the cards. The divine already has this on, on the, on the tablet. It's already, it's already been determined that you and this person were going to have a soul contract. Yeah. See, there it is. Four cups in the reverse. Like if this had been on pause, this is no longer going to be on pause. I feel like you and someone have implemented new boundaries or there's going to be new boundaries implemented. Yeah, there's Knight of Pentacles. This has moved slow as hell. <laughs> Leo, maybe you got bored with, with this person, vice versa. You're the type of person that doesn't like to rush into things and you like to take your time. Well, Leo, you have taken your time, okay? And this person's getting, getting antsy, vice versa. I can feel that energy. It's like a jittery, like, okay. Like, like waiting for a bus to come and pick you up. You just keep looking down the street. Like, it's like that kind of energy. I don't know. I'm going to actually, let's switch decks. Let's go ahead and switch decks. All right. <clears throat> what else we got? Tell me about what's coming in for Leo. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom again. You're really independent at this time, but that is really appealing um, to your higher self because... Even though you've been isolating, it's a different type of independence now. There's something about a shift in your isolation. I feel like it was a, it was a non-healthy isolation prior, and now the isolation that you're doing is like intentional. Like you'll you'll isolate for a few hours, and then you come back out, and then you'll isolate for a few more hours. It's like you're you're time managing your isolation versus just hiding out for days and days and days. Does that make sense? You're trying to make like healthy. Like, be realistic and juggle and be equal with, like, contributing to society and isolating and contributing to yourself. Contributing to others, contributing to yourself. There's a there's a really good alchemization. What I say about that earlier, like, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the temperance card come out here. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords again. Wow. Because you're able to do that, because you're, because, there it is. Thank you, Spirit. Because you are being specific with your isolation time, now you're able to think clearer. You're, you're able to, to see from a bigger perspective. And it's like because you're having a really good balance of like inspiration from others, teamwork from others, input from others, and then boom, take it back. Wisdom from yourself, input from yourself, goals, and, and, um, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Items that you want to put into place are now being manifested. Too many? Leo. It's coming for Leo. Thank you. Woo! Two of Cups. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Two of Cups. Empress. By the way, this is the only card in this entire deck that's a different card in my deck. This is actually from the Dancing in the Dark Tarot, and I'm using the Divine Feminine and the Fountain Tarot. So we've got the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Leo, I can't make it up. 333 three, three on the clock. Pay attention to that number if you ever see that, what your energy is, what you're thinking about. Um, this is beautiful. You're getting clarity on this Two of Cups. I feel like I'm going to see the Sun card in the up right now. Seven of Pentacles, like putting the work in on yourself, on your healing journey, on this relationship. This person also, this person's, too many. This person's behind the scenes, um... This person may have an affinity for plants or have a green thumb or they're planting a garden or something or they're going to be planting a garden this spring. There's something really um, nurturing. I just got poked in my back right when I said that. <laughs> okay. Um, there's something really nurturing and like organic about this person. Fertile. Like their soul is rich. I also feel like they've just fertilized their soul or like watered their soul. I feel like you're doing this at the same time. It's like succinct. 
I'm saying that because I'm being shown a field. It's like a beautiful, it's a really healthy crop. And I like, I'm from the Midwest. We know crops. Anyways, um, I'm seeing a beautiful dark soiled field, perfect rows, perfect, um, irrigation system set up. And there's two, tra two tractors side by side, parallel, doing whatever they need to do to the plants that they're planting. It's in succinct. That's why you and this person are so close. And I don't think you guys realize how much your energies are mirroring one another. Yeah, look at this. Look at the love coming in. Queen of Cups. This is, you may have heavy water in your chart somewhere um, in your sun, moon, or rising, or even your Venus. Um, this is like motherly energy. Very nurturing, very caring, very um, loving and accepting unconditional this is this is growing an unconditional type of energy between you your person your past your lover i feel it i'm actually going to draw some runes as well i'm being guided queen of swords in the reverse you may have just let go of an air sign or there's an air sign that's really rubbing you the wrong way pisces or excuse me Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, there might be an air sign that's rubbing you the wrong way, or you've chosen someone else who's way more nurturing, way more caring, whoever this two of cups is, maybe you've chosen one over the other. That's a totally different energy. That That is not even remotely like this energy. What's this queen of swords in reverse, please? What is this? Leo, I've gotten a queen of swords in reverse for you so many times this last year. Like bad yeah look at that nine of pentacles was in the reverse under it <clears throat> i'm hearing the word rescinded this is very specific leo if you've been looking for a new job you may have an offer on the table that's been rescinded or maybe your company was planning to promote you and someone said no we're going to rescind that promotion i keep hearing the word rescind um, or if you were planning originally to extend an offer to this air sign, it's like it's been reneged, re reneged. Uh, it's been, the, the decision has been changed. There's not going to be an offer. This, this person's not getting chosen, whether it's work, family, friends, love. That's a totally different energy. I even asked to clar clarify it one more time. Give me one more on this queen of swords and knight of coin in the reverse, please. What is this? Thank you. The star in reverse. Oh my God. Ooh, my nose is itching. Star in reverse. Queen of swords in the reverse. Knight of coin. This is not going through. There's lack of healing, lack of um, attraction or inspiration. Again, this is Aquarius energy. I've seen this across the board with the collective with Leo's lately. Um, if you're working with an air sign, there has truly been like a, um, a break in passion or a break in excitement or like a break in, in want to continue working or partnering with, with this person. And I'm not quite sure why other than this person's out of alignment currently, or it's just a no go. Like, it's just a no-go. I don't know. Yeah, Emperor in reverse. Yeah, this is a boss type figure and a page of coins in reverse. Like, you have no desire to talk to this person or collaborate. Uh, maybe this person is an authoritative figure or you've looked up to them or you've mentored under them and you don't feel that they're in alignment right now. So you don't even want to, like, really talk to them. You don't want to answer their, their, their calls or their text messages or their emails, whoever this is. All right. Right. You know what? I want to clear this energy. Let's clear it one more time, Leo. All right. We're going to switch decks one last time. Okay. Such different. I've got like so many different stories. You are not happy with your finances. You've got a really cool relationship or something going on here. Looks like you two are mirroring each other. There's so much love and connection and nurturing and beautiful energy. And then you got something going on work-wise. I feel like it's really work-related. That's just a no-go. There's someone who's no 
it's like a no you might even be um changing jobs yeah like accomplishment is in the reverse you don't feel accomplished working with this person or something has not been accomplished or something has not been manifested the way you thought it would go look at that prince of discs in the maybe you don't feel you're making enough money oh that's it Okay, Leo, this is specific, but if it if it resonates, comment below, all right? I'm connecting. The reason that you are not connecting with this person anymore is because you feel they've kept you in the dark on money. You don't feel you make enough money with this company, with this department, with this boss. You feel um, taken advantage of in some aspect. I'm picking up on that really, really heavily here. You don't feel like you've been given what you what you're worth monetarily maybe that's why the sun's in the reverse over here with the nine of pentacles like i feel that energy here it's like there's like a little bit of lack and um you know that's all in the eye of the beholder okay if you've got a roof over your head you are blessed okay so uh, i really want you to focus on that um, energy and how often you let it creep in that lack mentality because that's going to really screw up your manifestations and the um timing of it as well so what else is coming in for leo spirit anything else i can share Thanks for stopping by, y'all. Hope you have a great weekend. Look at that. Okay, current energies. Here's what's coming in. Talking about the weekend energies. What's coming in for Leo for this weekend? Woo! Empress again. Damn. Leo, if this is your energy, 21, 21 on the clock. Boom. You are not messing around. And if this is your person, they are not messing around. They are in prime time. Okay, this is this is powerful, powerful current energies here. Very powerful. We also had the high priestess fall out. So this person has really high intuition. If you feel your intuition is off, that is about to drastically change here. I feel like this person may be helping you out with that. Or you're coming into alignment with, again, your higher self. I keep feeling alignment with your higher self in specific, Leo. There's something about your energy this season. That's It's like your higher self is really wanting to talk to you. Hmm. No, too many. Final messages for Leo. Thank you. Delusion in the reverse. You're on your way. Two, 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 two on the clock. Two, two. All right. You are on your way to breaking through a massive threshold, a barrier. If you feel like you've been hanging on by a thread, baby, you're almost there. I, I'm seeing like George of the Jungle swinging from tree to tree with vine. And it's like he can't see where he's about to land because there's so many leaves. Oh, shoot. Did that stop recording? My phone's about to die. Um, I need to charge my phone. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Leo, you just need a recharge. You need a vacation. You need a break. Okay, I get it. Well, guess what? On St. Patrick's Day, I pray and wish you from one of the biggest Irish lasses you know, all of the luck and that there really is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, okay? Believe me. I want you to repeat after me. I am a miracle and therefore miracles are attracted to me. I am a money magnet. And therefore, money is magnetized to me. Say it with your chest, Leo, okay? I want you to say that to yourself every day because that's going to bring this, 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 um, this energy is like so potent. Again, I kept seeing a fertile field. It's fertile. Like this is going to produce a lot. This relationship or whoever this person is with you, like there's so much potential here to produce so much. Look at this. I can't make it up. I can't make it. Do you know what's in front of you? It's been... It's been blinded from you on purpose until now, Leo. All right. Anything else, spirit? I think you're finally seeing your worth. You're finally seeing your power, how strong you are, how capable you are, how much your energy is worth, how much your person's energy is worth, what it's like when you combine those energies together. It's priceless, right? Okay. Leo. Wow. If you've been confused, honey, bottom of the deck, that ain't going to happen much longer. Also, I feel something could have um, happened to you on or around the 24th of this month. Okay. We also have a new moon on Tuesday. Look at that. Split the deck fulfillment. This is 10 cups. Are you serious, Leo? 
Cheer up, buttercup. If you've been down and out, it's coming. That whole energy is about to, to seriously, swiftly change, okay? So if you, if you'd like swiftly change, I can't make it up. <laughs> Swiftness, boom. That's a mic drop, all right? I'm gonna leave it there, Leo. So again, um, thank you for stopping by. Happy St. Patrick's Day if you're Irish and you're celebrating today. Um, I'm gonna be chowing on some serious corned beef and cabbage. It's it's a tradition for us um, or for my family. And um, yeah, so if you would like to go a little bit further on a private one-on-one, -on -one, all the information will be in the box below. I will be back with more readings. I'm trying to pump out mid-monthlies for the rest of the fire signs today. I already got Sag up, I got Aries left. Uh, but if this is where you part ways, my darling Leo, uh, look at the Irie to you, my friend. Aaron Gobrog, Sliante. And uh, yeah, we'll chit -chat, chit chat at you soon. I'm tongue tied. <laughs> I'm excited for you. This is great energy, Leo. Congratulations. You've been praying for this. Okay. Spirit heard you. And so did the luck of the Irie. Okay. Mwah. Bye.